If you're looking for free videos around the Miami Dolphins, you are in the right place. Right now, this is the fastest growing Dolphins channel on YouTube. And if you find yourself looking for Dolphins draft rumors, maybe players who they should sign in free agency, and a whole lot more, we're going to keep you updated here at Chat Sports. So hit that big red button that says subscribe. And if there's any breaking news, turn on the notifications. That way you don't miss a thing. Miami Dolphin Cap Cuts presented by Manscaped. If there's any guys out there and you're sick and tired of getting cut downstairs, I promise you, Manscaped products won't do that to you. Go to manscaped.com slash chat where you can save 20% off and free shipping on the best male grooming products out there. So on today's show, I'm realistically going to be looking at the players who are going to get paid probably the most money and they could be getting cut because they're trying to save some money, and I'm going to work from seven all the way down to one, so keep that in mind. So here's the Dolphins' 2021 offseason. You got 19 free agents, the seventh most in terms of cap space as it stands right now that I'm making this video, 32.07, and a lot of draft capital. I do want to give a special shout-out to the Miami Dolphins, who have done a phenomenal job not just this season, but also managing their salary cap. We've done this video, honestly, y'all, at Chat Sports for a few other teams. The Dolphins, it was actually pretty difficult for because they don't have many glaring contracts that they could get rid of. Plus, they don't really need to get rid of a lot of glaring contracts. So what I try to do on today's show is give you seven contracts that they could potentially move on from and tell you whether or not I would keep the player or if I'd cut him. The first guy I'm going to bring up here is Emmanuel Ogba. If you decide to move on from him, okay, you could save $7.5 million because he is owed $7.5 million. And for all seven players that you are going to see on today's show, I am going to ask you the exact same thing because that's what Chat Sports is all about, the interaction. What should Miami do with Agba? Do you keep him or do you cut him? So type K-E-O, keep Emmanuel Agba, y'all with me, for keep, or I want you to type C-E-O for cut him. I'm keeping Emmanuel Ogman. I know that he's going to be the most expensive player that you see on this list, but this dude had a career year with Miami, and he knows what his role is and does it very well. Sure, ranked 50 of 112 in terms of defensive ends according to the Pro Football Focus, but go out and find me many defensive ends who are going to make $7 million who had nine sacks last year. That's a great value for a player who knows exactly what he needs to do on this defense. Let's go to the safety position, and spoiler alert, you're going to see a lot of safeties because that's the one glaring issue I think that this defense really has, maybe minus linebacker. So he's going to make $7.14 million in 2021. If you cut him, the Dolphins save $5.66 million. They just got to eat $1.48 million, which is pretty respectable for 46 tackles and five pass breakups. So what should Miami do with old Bobby McCain here? Do you keep him? Type KBM for keep or... Do you get rid of him? You're trying to save up some money. I want you to type CBM for cut. I'm also going to keep Bobby McCain. Currently, I would say he's like the best all-around safety, if you will, on this Miami team. Played in 923 snaps in 2020. That's second most on the team. It's just not going to be a player where, for a team like Miami, that has a lot of money, realistically, that doesn't really need to cut a player, it doesn't make sense to move on from him because, bottom line, let's say he might not start next year. He's still at least going to be a very reasonable safety to have as some backup. Now, I will say this. This free agency class is special in terms of free agent safeties. And the players that I'm about to show you, realistically, I do actually think are all better players than a guy like Bobby McCain. So let's just say Miami does want to go out and get a Justin Simmons, Anthony Harris, Marcus Williams, Marcus May, John Johnson, or Malik Hooker. Maybe a Xavier Rhodes, Keanu Neal, or Jaquesky Tart. These are players where then you could see Miami maybe cut a guy like uh, Agba, maybe move on from a guy like we just mentioned with Bobby McCain. That's all I want you all to think about here because that's the only way realistically they're going to move on from some of these bigger contracts if they're trying to make some more room to be able to go out and make a big-time splash in free agency. So you just saw all those big-name free agents. Like I said before, you got a Xavier Howard. You also have Byron Jones at your cornerbacks. Your front four is pretty solid. Your linebackers are up and down as well. But if you want to take this defense to the next level, to realistically be the no doubt number one defense in all of the NFL, maybe go out and find yourself a top safety because that's the one thing that this team is missing. 
So, should Miami sign a safety? If you think yes, I want you to like the video right now. Let's go to the other safety here. It's Eric Rowe, and he's going to make $5.05 million. If cut, the Dolphins save $4 million, and then they got to eat $1.05 million. For reference, the $1.05 million, that's basically the vet minimum contract. 91 tackles, 11 pass breakups, and two interceptions for Rowe, who I actually thought did a phenomenal job filling in and a position that he didn't really expect to be playing much this year. So what do you think? Do you keep him or do you cut old row here? Type K-E-R for keep or go down in the comment section and type cut for row. I'm keeping another guy. You guys are probably watching this video like, what the heck is this guy doing? I promise you I'm going to be cutting some guys for pretty soon. This is the probably the best cover safety that this team has. Played in 919 snaps, which again, you're looking at production that is really hard to just totally move on from, third most on the team. He was ranked 66th of 94 safeties in terms of pro football focus grading, 58.9. But the area that he really struggles against is tackling and really being able to get after the quarterback. But at the end of the day, I want a safety that can cover. And that's honestly what Eric Rowe is very good at doing. Also, hopefully, y'all, today's show is around cap cuts. I said it earlier, if you use a razor, if you're using a trimmer, and your downstairs looks like the Grinch, you know what I'm talking about when he tries to shave and he's just covered up in all that blood and nastiness, that's not going to happen with Manscaped. Go to manscaped.com slash chat where you can save 20% off and get free shipping on the Lawnmower 3.0. It is the best tool out there if you need to shave your chest, your underarms, your downstairs. I'm telling you right now, this thing is incredible. Eight-hour battery life, no tugging whatsoever, and you can kind of see it over there and see that light. There's actually a light on this thing, so when you're down underneath, you know what I'm talking about, you can see what you're doing. Make sure you get all that hair, manscaped.com slash chat. Let's go to the next player here that's a potential cap cut. It's Clayton Fajilm, and uh, whoo, boy, this is one of those dudes where I actually feel bad for saying this, but $2.53 million if cut, you end up saving this guy. He is a special teams player at the absolute best, and you kind of already see where I'm going to go with this one. So do you keep him? Or do you cut old Clayton here? Type KCF if you want to type KFC because you're hungry, go for it. Or type CCF for cut. This is a player that I'm moving on from. And no disrespect to him. If the Dolphins want to end up keeping him, I totally disagree. Out of all the guys that I mentioned, this is probably the one that I'm most confident that they're going to move on from. His 2020 PF grade of 36.5, that's just not going to get it done. Sure, he's pretty good against the run, but it's just not worth over $2 million. One of my favorite players actually on the Dolphins incoming this year was Sam McLaughlin. And you can either pay him 880 or 850k, or if you cut him, you save 850k. This is again, most NFL teams would love the luxury of even having this discussion of do you cut a guy to save 850k? This is just once again me telling you how great the Miami Dolphins contract situation is. And in terms of making this video, I just tried to find the players where you could find the biggest cap space, where they could save the most money in case you want to pay Xavier Howard the big time bucks, in case you want to go out and make a big time splash in free agency or a big time trade. So do you keep Sam or do you cut him? I am going to end up keeping my man Sam McGuavin, who is a player that I think knows what it takes to try to make it into the NFL. What do I mean by that? Played in the CFL, was a linebacker that can play sideline to sideline, brings you some of that athletic ability. Didn't really play all that much this past year for Miami, but he still racked up a pretty solid PFF grade of 62.1. Now, one of the other videos that I recently just put out here on the channel was the Dolphins 2021 free agents. If you guys haven't seen it yet, go check it out. Please, it's over like 17,000 views on it right now. We normally cover the latest news and rumors. Yes, we once in a while get crazy with our rumor videos, but you know what? That's what the offseason is about. Let your hair down a little bit. Have a little bit of fun. But if you're just curious about uh, potential cap cuts, that's why you clicked on this video. If you want to know who the 19 free agents of the Dolphins are, go ahead, check it out. It's on the channel right now. More safety talk here. Nate Holly, 780K. If you cut him, you save 700 and 80k the math is simple but for a player who did not play in 2020 for a player that's honestly not going to be playing much for the miami dolphins especially considering the fact that i do it fully anticipate this team to be able to get better especially with all their draft picks and their cap space but what do you do 
Do you keep him? Type KNH or are you going to cut Mr. Nate Holly? Sorry, Nate, you're getting the axe here. Didn't play a single snap in 2020. Doesn't really offer much upside at linebacker or safety. I know that he's versatile, but he's a special teams player at the absolute best. The last guy that I'm going to bring up here is Benito Jones, who, again, 780K, or you can save 780K. The only reason why, once again, I'm bringing up all these guys near at the end, I understand they didn't play a lot. Could they end up making the team? Sure, they absolutely could. But if you're penny, penny pension, <laughs> if you're penny pension and just trying to save those few extra dollars to be able to invest into some other players, that's what you need to be considering here. So do you keep them or do you cut Benito? Sorry, Benito, I'm going to let you go. So out of the three, out of the last four guys, y'all get the ax. But again, when you consider the fact that he played in only 47 snaps, 50.4 grade, I am anticipating the Miami Dolphins to go out and invest into the defensive line, whether it's in free agency or whether it's in the draft. So if you made it this far in the video, once again, go ahead and like it. We really, really appreciate it here. Let's just hypothetically say, Miami goes out, makes a big time move, and they need to save as much money as humanly possible. They come across this video, and they're like, all right, if we cut all seven of those players, how much money do we save? You save $22.1 million. It's not bad, right? Like, I mean, that's a pretty good contract for a top free agent. Like, if you want to go out and get one of those Justin Simmons or Anthony Harris's, you definitely do it with that type of money. Now, if you cut the three players that I mentioned, you save $4.1 million. So let's say they go out, they cut the three players that I mentioned, you save $4.1 million. Now you got $36.17 million, which as it stands right now would be the sixth most, sixth most in terms of cap space. But there's going to be a lot of other NFL teams out there that move some contracts around that really – kind of go above Miami so it'll be interesting to see what they end up doing and hopefully you guys stick with us the entire offseason draft videos free agency if you have any ideas for videos throw them down in the comments we're always looking appreciate it that you made it this far and uh, hopefully y'all have a good Sunday